There's one other item I'd like to share with you today. Let's take a look at customizing your very own website. So with Troopmaster Web, you can have your very own public front page for your website. Click on Customize Website. And this is just a simple example of what your website can look like. We have various templates to choose from, and you can add content to those templates. You've got your menu items here, your social media links here, various images that you can include on your template, and you've got this is your footer slash sidebar content. Uh, this is optional. You don't have to have this, but you can put like contact information or whatever you'd like in, in these areas over here. And let's look at how to customize these. Uh, click on to customize. Your customize page will open up. You can pick a new um, theme. Uh, if you didn't like the, the color theme that we had there, uh, you can pick another one. Um, we have several to choose from. Uh, we can take a look at this green gray here. Uh, and you save that. And your settings were saved. And then go back to your home page and refresh it. And the new color theme has been applied. Um, very easy to change the colors of your site. Uh, if you have suggestions for other colors you'd like to see, just let us know. Um, we can look at adding them to the site. Yeah, we have the ability to lock each area so they're password protected. Uh, for example, if you click on this one, it's got a little lock there. Um, there's a site password that you can define if you type in that password. You'll then have access to that page or any other locked page. Uh, there's a simple list of uh, members that have reached Eagle. And we typed on a page. Um, just a simple example of what you can do. We've got uh, pictures. You can come in here and you can you can lock these pages as well. You select an image. You can go through all your images. Very nice, sleek photo gallery. You can have a separate gallery per each event or however you want to categorize those. It's completely up to you. It also looks great on a mobile device. The page is completely responsive, um, which means it'll it'll resize itself for any size browser window. I'm gonna take a look at it here in our mobile device. So here's what your page will look like on a mobile device. your menu. I'm going to go down to Scout Picks. Click Campouts. Take an image. And same thing. Very sleek. Very nice photo gallery for all of your images. Very easy to navigate. And it's easy to upload as well. You can upload pictures from your phone. You can edit the you can even edit your entire website from your phone. Um, Maybe a little challenge to do on a small device, but if there's a simple little change you wanted to make or you had a bunch of pictures on your phone, you can come right to the page and do it. Let's go back to our customized page here for a second. And let's just take a look at this. All right, so here are all your menu items. You can define a new one. I'm going to add a new one under Scout Picks. We'll say new. Yeah, new pictures. Okay, that's defined. And then I'm going to pick the type of template I want. I want a photo template. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to edit that page. First click the page and then edit that page. 
Okay, so you have, um, you can add some text at the top. New pictures. And click OK. Uh, you've got complete control here. You can center this. You can change the, the color if you want. I hit OK. New pictures is added up there. This is a paragraph. Um, so if you wanted to type some content here, um, whatever you may want to put in here. And whatever you want to say. And then you can upload some images. And you just simply drag and drop your content here. I've got some images selected over here on another screen. And just drag them on in. Okay, and those five images just got uploaded to the page. You click OK. Click Save. We now close that page. We're done editing it. Go back to our main page. Click Refresh. Go down to Scout Picks where we just added the new thing. Got new pictures. And there's the new five pictures we just uploaded. You can also include events that are coming up. So we've got upcoming events. With this tab, I'll show you under the customized site first. Um, Go to page, click upcoming events. That template is already selected because we've created this page ahead of time. Click edit page content. It's going to open up that page. From here, you can do the same thing. You type in your a header up top if you want, a paragraph if you've got a long description that you want to describe your what's in this particular template. And then you can pick the type of activities you want to include. In this case, I want to include all the activities that are coming up. I believe it's within the next four months or three months or, or something like that. I don't know the specific time at this point, but it um, will include all those events coming up within the next few months on that page. So let's save that. Go back to our main page. Look at upcoming events. And there you'll see all of your activities coming up within the next few months. So members of your unit will be able to come directly to your website, see what events are coming up, and then they can click to RSVP or pay for that event. Uh, maybe you don't want uh, everyone, um, the public, being able to see this page. Well, that's simple as well. You can password protect any page on the site. Uh, to do so, Go back to the customize page. Just click password protect and save those page settings. Let's go back to the home page and refresh it. I know that page is locked from the public. Let's say, for instance, that you have a particular page that you only want to see at a certain time of the year, uh, maybe a Christmas page or something like that. Well, you can turn these pages on and off. Let's go back to our custom page. We have a Christmas link right here. Um, it's, it's not enabled, but if we wanted it to show up on the page, click Enable Page, click Save Page Settings, go back to our home page, click Refresh, And now our Christmas page is there. Again, you know, this looks great on both the desktop and mobile browsers.
We hope you enjoy the, the customizable features of our Troopmaster web. Uh, you can have your own web page. And if you have any suggestions, enhancements, anything like that that you'd like to see for um, the customizable pages or the actual Troopmaster web app itself, please let us know. Just shoot us an email, give us a call, um, however you want to get in touch with us. Um, just let us know what you'd like to see. We'd love to build it into the software. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.